This type of thing pisses me off. There's nothing okay with kids doing this, but this is what kids are doing. Um, before I leave this on here, in case it's flagged, this is the bullshit post. I should do this too, before Instagram takes me somewhere else. Giftedness, for fuck's sake. ADHD, which is fucking nonsense, and autism, which is being normalized. So here's what I'm leaving on here. <clears throat> Pardon me. I drank a bunch of kombucha. Back to point. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Back to point. As it reads, propaganda. If you are raised in a healthy environment and you eat food full of light and life, typically speaking, none of these factors are going to impact you. It's only in fairly recent times because we no longer control the food supply. It's not for the people, by the people, that such issues have arisen. And keep in mind, this is just me talking at my phone. It's poorly worded, in my opinion, as well. Um, either way. <laughs> okay, real fast. I'll have kids whine at me sometimes about some of the grammatical shit. And that's fair, because we should be, you know, checking in with one another. But usually these are the same kids that are truncating their words and slapping in social engineering stickers. And they will send me a social engineering sticker while trying to correct things. It's fucking hilarious. Back to point. <clears throat> uh, it's by design, not by coincidence. The people who control the food chain relate to the Rockefeller Trust. And when you follow the money, Western medicine started out and continues to be funded by the Rockefeller Trust. Petroleum-based poison. If you look into it, uh, that acts as a band-aid. In most cases, it only makes things worse because the root cause is never addressed. You start taking these big pharma pills and you aren't addressing the root cause, which means it's going to be harder to get rid of. You keep suppressing it, but you're not addressing it, which means it's going to be worse. The more you prolong this, the worse it's going to get. The older you're going to get, there's a little thing called entropy. You want to figure this shit out sooner than later. And the people behind this shit know that. Which means it's, it's another way to rope you in. It's kind of a, it's very similar to giving somebody a taste of a drug and getting them hooked. It's very similar to that if you think about what I just said. <clears throat> Um, where am I at? Petroleum-based poison that acts as a band-aid, and in most cases, it only makes things worse because the root cause is never addressed. Social engineering is alive and well, and it's handed down by the Tavistock Institute. Granted, I don't expect any of the kids in this feed to be familiar with it, because they're playing a mean game of follow the leader. Who knows why the fuck it capitalized it? Probably because of the game. I take that back. That's probably why it did it this time. Uh, and I said walking in lockstep. And I used that example to try to drive the fascist, you know, imagery home. Because it's exactly what it is across the board, and most people don't realize it. Um, all the fucking rainbow kids. I mean... <laughs> Fascism. Um, <laughs> they don't get it either. Uh, shopping things like this around is an agenda to normalize this nonsense. If you look into it, a small portion of people were born with autistic qualities. Now it's widespread. Why would that be? I mean, logic fucking be damned. This isn't something that naturally shook out, but most of these Muppets believe in evolution as well, which does not reflect reality in any form or fucking way. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, as for ADHD, it's nonsense for the most part. If these kids' guts were healthy, their brains would be healthy. They would have focus. They would feel good. They wouldn't be anxious. They wouldn't experience any of these other fucking issues. Simple as that. Um, some of you know I've been going through uh, what I thought was poison oak, and then they said that I have eczema. I've lived on this rock for four decades, <clears throat> and just out of the blue got eczema. Most likely it's because I was eating far too much fucking meat, drinking too much dairy, and I was downing fucking booze like it was nobody's business. So I didn't fucking stab somebody going through the enduring agenda. That was my uh, crutch that I leaned on in a very stupid and human way. 
and I fucked up my inside. So somehow it fucked with the kidneys, the liver, to varying degrees. And this shit affected my gut health, which affected my skin, which caused eczema or dermatitis or however you want to think of it, a form of staph infection, if you will. That's one of the many things I've had to deal with because I made poor choices. Just to give you an example, having to do with something having to do with me. We all make our choices. You got to choose your adventure. Back to point. <clears throat> and some of it's better now because I've been addressing this shit and trying to uh, resolve it. But the older you get, like I said, the longer it takes and the less likely it is that you can reverse these things. Once you break something, it's harder to put it back together. Um, what else? I said their guts and their brains are fucked, and that's why they're fucked, pretty much. Uh, their body would be healthy, but people aren't addressing the root cause. They're shopping around propaganda. And most people aren't going to tell you this. Look at that. 46,000 fucking retards. Nudge, nudge, something, something. If you see what I did there, click the little heart sigil. Because they're about as useful as a bucket of marbles. They're fucking stupid. And they are walking in lockstep. Let's look for, uh, let's go hunting for social engineering stickers. See if people are slapping them in here or not. Somebody said, I am not reading that. <laughs> you got a lot of kids who will do that now because they have no attention span. They don't read books. They are fucking retarded. Here's two people. Who knows why they would do this. One of them, I think, is who posted this. The Spectrum, right? Let's just check. Yeah. So, clearly, they're not thinking for themselves. It's a telltale sign. If somebody's using our master's emojis, they're following a social engineering trend, they're, they're not thinking for themselves. So, we got three little skulls and a little fucking Italian whatever the fuck. <laughs> uh, what do I usually tell the brain-dead Muppets online? If you hoped to sound moderately intelligent, the last thing you would do is use our master's emojis because they're social engineering stickers in place to do away with abstract thought. You fucking retards. <laughs> yeah. I don't see anybody in here. Calling bullshit. Literally all of these, because I'm a fucking retard. I tried to read FR. What the fuck does that mean? Social engineering sticker. I tried, but they have no attention span, and they're fucking stupid. Oh, look, this kid says, I am the entire center. Cool. Cool. Oh, look, somebody was diagnosed by the very people who have subjugated us and are leading us down the primrose path. <laughs> Doctors don't know shit. They're there to prescribe big pharma drugs. That's what they do. In terms of addressing any of this shit, you're not going to get that out of a doctor. That's not what they do. That's not their purpose. It's like asking a cop to protect you. You gotta be fucking retarded to believe in that shit. Plus, if you looked into it, there are facts available to the public that fly in the face of what most people repeat and believe in. But most people don't look into things. They buy into bullshit. This is bullshit. Oh, look. This kid's fucking gifted. <laughs> On that note, I will stop because... Fuck this horse shit. It is propaganda. People don't know what they're talking about. And again, this information is available to you. You could connect these dots and you could think for yourself. And once you sort this shit out, you should call bullshit. Anybody you see shopping this shit around, you should stop them dead in their tracks. Because they are circulating propaganda. <laughs>